Hi, parallel circuits. The components in parallel circuits are arranged side by side and the current splits to go down the different branches of the circuit. So here we have one component and then there's another component in parallel which is side by side with it. And the current in the main circuit has to split to go down the different parallel branches. The components in parallel circuits are arranged side by side and the current splits to go down the different branches of the circuit. Each branch in a parallel circuit gets the full voltage supplied by the cell or the battery. Ammeters, which measure current I through the circuit, are connected in series and voltmeters, which measure the potential difference between two points, are connected in parallel. So here we have a 9 volt battery and it's putting a current through this circuit and we put an ammeter in the main circuit to measure current I1 and then an ammeter in the first branch to measure I2 in that branch and an ammeter in the third branch to measure I3 and what we will find is that I1, the current before it splits, will equal the two currents once they have split. So I2 plus I3 will add up to I1. In this diagram what we have done is we've got our 9 volt um, battery again. The conventional current is going around from positive to negative. So that's conventional current I goes from positive to negative but the electrons will go around the other way. The electrons will go from negative to positive. So that's the way the electrons go, but the conventional current goes from positive to negative, the electrons go around the other way. And we've connected here our ammeters in series, and here we're connecting our voltmeters in parallel, and we're looking at the potential difference across each of our bulbs. And because um, each branch in a parallel circuit gets the full voltage supplied by the cell or the battery, we're going from 9 volts positive here to 0 at the negative, so we're getting a potential difference across this branch of 